it going everybody, you're watching Then About Zach, and today I'm gonna give you the first hands-on overview of iOS 17. That's right, I'm already running iOS 17 Beta 1 right here on my iPhone 14 Pro, and I'm gonna give you everything you need to know. Let's get started. So, the first thing I wanna tell you is compatibility. Please keep in mind that iOS 17 will not be compatible with iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10. So only the iPhones 10R, 10S, and newer will be able to update to iOS 17. Starting with an all new feature called Standby. Take a look. So, if you lock your iPhone while it's plugged in and charging, of course, and you put it in landscape mode, as you can see, you're gonna wait a few seconds and you're gonna see this. This is a complete new feature and you can use your iPhone just like an Alexa, right? Or other competitors uh, that you see way often. And now Apple brought this to the iPhone. So you have a ton of different views and this is so, so cool. Of course, you can see the time, you can see your calendar and it's all uh, customizable as you can see here, a ton of options on absolutely everything you have a ton of possibilities photos uh you have here as well all the ways of seeing the clock and everything like that so it's endless and of course if you're listening to music for example you can tap on the song and you have this awesome view as well which i really really like so when you're working or cooking at home whatever in any situation you can leave your iphone like that and you're gonna have a brand new device on your iPhone. This is so, so cool, guys. Keep in mind that in order for this to work, you're gonna need an iPhone 14, and also it needs to be connected either via MagSafe, like I'm doing right here, or normally connected, and it needs to be in landscape and facing up, as you can see right here. Otherwise, it will work. On top of that, we also have new wallpapers. As you can see, I'm using the iOS 17 wallpaper right here, but we have other options as well. So if you go to settings and then wallpaper and then add new wallpaper, as you can see, we have a few options. Like for example, in astronomy, we have planets. So different planets, as you can see right there. Uh, we also have kaleidoscope as well. As you can see, a ton of options. And of course, if we keep scrolling down, we have under collections, the new iOS 17 theme right here the one I'm using in this video. Another new feature that Apple showcased in WWDC is called Contact Poster. So if you go ahead and open up your contacts and you tap on your own card of your own contact, as you can see right here, you're gonna see this new interface on which you'll be able to choose how people see you when you phone them. So then you'll be able to customize right here your photo, the name it shows up, and everything like that. So this is really, really cool. I have made this little customization right here, but it's a little bit buggy still, but that's pretty much how it's gonna look. So if you tap here on contact photo and poster, as you can see, this is pretty much how it's gonna look like when I phone people or when, or when they tap on my card and everything like that. So this is how it's gonna look. It's pretty cool and it's kind of a way to show in uh, your contacts and people a little bit more personality. Of course, it's super easy to edit. Just tap here on edit right there and then you'll be able to have even multiple cards if you want to on how you want people to see you and you can choose, of course, absolutely everything here. You can use emoji, memoji, the name, the font, absolutely everything and you can easily customize it pretty much with the same interface you customize your lock screen. Widgets got a little bit smarter. So let me give you an example here because now you can interact with widgets. Right here I have the reminders widget and now I can simply tap on a reminder and I'm interacting with it and as you can see it just marked as complete it was 11 now it's 10 so now you can easily interact with multiple different widgets right here from the lock screen before as you remember if I tapped here it would actually open the reminders app now it's much smarter. Apple also updated the Messages app and added a ton of new features. So if you tap on Messages, you're gonna see that the layout itself is looking a little bit cleaner. And as you can see, it's a little bit different. But not only that, if you tap on the plus button, it's totally different. And in my opinion, it looks really, really weird. Take a look at those buttons. It looks like it's from a Mac OS from like 15 years ago, like OS X. So it's really weird, but there are some new features, uh, not only visually, but now we have stickers, as you can see right here. Uh, so if you tap on stickers, you can add a new one. 
and then you can use a photo for example like this one of my pet and then I can add sticker and then it's gonna create it automatically and I can use it as a sticker and this is all synced to iCloud and everything like that. You, we also have new possibilities here, tapping on the plus, so uh, the interface for audio messages is different as well and talking about audio messages, they will be transcribed automatically as well. When you receive an audio message, it's gonna be automatically transcribed to text, so this is very nice and of course we have other possibilities with sharing location and much, much more and of course we have our compatible apps as well. So we have a new interface here in messages and as you can see it's getting it's trying to get closer to apps like WhatsApp and everything like that and I think the all these additions are actually pretty good. Siri is also better and I really like this one. Take a look. Siri, how's the weather? So, as you can see I don't really have to say, hey Siri, and wait, and things like that. Of course I can do that, but as you can see, it's much smarter, and if I just say the command as if I was talking to a person, saying Siri do this, this, or that, it's gonna do it. So it's really nice, and I'm gonna be using Siri way more often. AirDrop also got better. So I'm gonna show you some photos here because I don't have two devices running iOS 17 right now, but as you can see, you can use this new gesture of actually bringing two iPhones or an iPhone and Apple Watch closer in order to trigger and activate AirDrop. So you can have this fluid motion of getting closer like NFC, if you know what I mean. So as you guys can see here, this is an example of sharing uh, the contact poster that I just showed you, but also we have the possibility of sharing files as well, your normal typical AirDrop use uh, by bringing two devices close to another. So this is a good feature as well. And I really like this new way. So share with intention as Apple is calling it. Apple also introduced in iOS 17, a new app which is called Journal. And I can't show you that either, but that's not my fault this time, is because this app is not available. It's just not here in iOS 17 yet, and Apple says it'll be available later this year. So maybe when iOS 17 is actually brought to the public, but what we know is that journal is like uh, your typical journal. So you'll be able to write your memory, save photos, videos, uh, tell how you feel and use just like you use a physical journal. So a very nice feature, actually a very nice new app. And still talking about how you feel, Apple brought a lot of attention to mental health on this latest software update. So if you go here to settings, you'll be able to see mental well-being as a new category here on our settings, and then you'll be able to set and record and type in a bunch of parameters on how you feel and of course, talk about your mental well-being as a whole. Uh, this is a feature that of course uh, will require a little bit of attention and of course, uh, follow up with doctors and everything like that. So of course, we have here uh, anxiety risk, depression risk, state of mind, time of daylight. So a ton of possibilities here uh, that will help you control and somehow diminish the risk of mental diseases. So awesome from Apple to create features like that. Now, please keep in mind that iOS 17 has a ton more features that I'm covering here in this video, like live voicemail, a ton of features in FaceTime. We also have SharePlay, keyboard features, Safari, CarPlay, maps that go offline. There's a ton of new stuff, but the idea with this video is give you my first hands-on overview of iOS 17. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one as usual. Bye-bye guys.